we're asked to write this right here in word form. And I'm not saying it out loud, because that would give the answer away. We have 63.15 that we want to write in word form. Well, the stuff to the left of the decimal point is pretty straightforward. Let me actually color code it. So we have 63, and then we have a, actually, let me do it all in different colors. 63, and then we have a decimal, and then we have a 1 and a 5. 1 and a 5. Now there's really well there's one common way of doing this, but we'll talk about the different ways you could uh, express this as a word. But we know how to write this stuff to the left. This is pretty straightforward. This is just 63. So let me write that down. So this is 60 63 63 and instead of the decimal we'll write and and now there's two ways to go here. We could say and one tenth and five. We could say and one tenth and five hundredths, or we could just say, look, this is fifteen hundredths. One tenth is ten hundredths. So one tenth and five hundredths is fifteen hundredths. So maybe I could write it like this: sixty-three and fifteen. Fifteen hundredths, 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 just like that. Now, a it might have been a little bit more natural. Say, hey, how come I don't say uh, one tenth and then five hundredths? And you could, but that would just make it a little bit harder for someone's brain to process it when you say it. So you could have, it could have been sixty-three. So let me copy and paste that. Copy and paste. It could be sixty-three and. And then you would write, and then you would write one tenth, one tenth for this digit right there, and and five hundredths, and five hundredths, five hundredths. Five hundredths. And I think you can appreciate that this is a little bit, you know, sixty-three and one tenth and five hundredths is is a hard is hard for most people's brains to process. But if say fifteen hundredths, people get what you're saying. This right here, let me not to beat a dead horse, but this right here, this is one tenth right here, and then this is five hundredths. This is five hundredths. Five over a hundred. But if you were to add these two, if you were to add one tenth plus five hundred, so let's do that. If you were to add one tenth plus five hundredths plus five hundredths, how would you do it? Well, you need a common denominator. Hundred is divisible by both ten and a hundred. So multiply both the numerator and denominator of this character by ten. You get ten on the top and a hundred on the bottom. One tenth is the same thing as ten over a hundred. Ten hundredths plus five hundredths is equal to fifteen over a hundred. So this piece right here is equal to 15 over 100. And that's why we say 63 and 15 hundredths.